front door is locked and your phone is switched off. It's match time. And nothing can come in the way of a head coach and his blood bowl. Is it still bad? Hmm, this is annoying. It's good? Okay. I don't know what I did, but I fixed it. Yay. I'm not going to spend my treasury. Alright. I just restarted the program that captures my sound and... Uh... <clears throat> okay, well, <laughs> I'm glad it's fixed. Biased referee, that means I shouldn't foul. Which is a pity, since I do have uh, a sneaky get. Let's see. What's that? Sidestep? Leap. Block on the troll. Two mighty blow bobs. Okay. Um. Here, the wrestle strip ball will be here. Rookie on the LOS. Because mm. it's sent off on a. What did Bias Referee do again? You get. There's like a, a five plus chance you get sent off even just for fouling, right? Something like that. Yeah, against the block troll and enough backup, I don't like spamming the LOS with the big guys. So let's not do that. Um, you know what? I do like this, however. Um, so the elf is in a safish position. The wrestle strip is in a safish position. Yeah. Good enough. Thanks for the feedback, folks. And welcome, Polo Mouse. It could be that the program VST Host, the one that I use to capture my sound, alter it a bit and uh, feed feed from the mic into uh, OBS. It could be that I left it running since yesterday, and the longer it runs, the more it builds up this delay. I remember having to restart it when I did very long streams as well. If I did like four game streams, then at some point there would be a bigger and bigger delay. So I'm guessing that that's the issue. In which case, turning it off and on again is, of course, the solution. So yeah, three mighty blow on my team, three mighty blow on his team. Uh, his armor is a bit more variable, mine is a bit more stable. He doesn't have a bench, and I do. Can someone tell me what... Oh, it's, I can probably see that here, right? What the... Um, the bias referee does. If I attempt to foul on a 5+, plus, I get sent off. Yeah, no, not worth it. Even with the sneaky get. Uh, it's actually more likely to trick them. How do I get rid of that? Okay. Um, we are going to kick deep because we have kick. And these guys are not the fastest. Yeah, there is fine. The ref stunned one of his guys.
my orc gets beaten, but he's alright. Very alright. Snake eyes on the armor. Troll making a three die. It's a bit sad having to put a random wrestle on the LOS. I, if I don't lose any players, I might file towards the end of the drive, I guess. If I do lose a player, then it's not worth it. One, two, three, four, five, six. You can make it back here. So the deep kick won't have done that much, really. They are not, Diog. Okay, here comes a stomp on the wrestle lineman. Just a stun, but no send off. At least I think they're not. I shouldn't answer questions like these because I don't know. I really don't keep track of stuff much anymore. I haven't seen any. That's a one die because guard and it's skull into a push. Yay, guard actually doing a thing. So that was one of his three rerolls. And the pickup is also bad. That he does not reroll. Okay. So my orc is in place. Sorry, my, my uh, ogre is in place. I think I'd like the troll to just be here and help me take some beatings. That sounds bad. You know what I mean? I could blitz through here and then dodge my elf out. I think I'll actually do that, you know? So let's put you... Wait. We can do this better. Put this guy over there. So then you can be here. Block against the goblins, pretty good. And then we six die blitz this goblin. Okay, uh, yeah, that's the thing. I'm gonna occupy that square, but I still would like to take just take that pal, uh, which means I need to block this guy now. Good, good, good. There we go. Oh, I killed it! Ha! Huh! That's a black orc dead. And the apo doesn't work. I mean, it works for him, but not for me. Uh, I don't care that he gets his player back at some point. And that also creates the nice gap for the elf to dodge through and be a menace in the backfield. As beginnings go, there's worse ones than this to imagine. Have the goblin trip and knock himself out. Yeah, that's that's right. That sounds sounds. I mean, to be fair, he was a fowler. He. Uh, this was not going to be Kinigo's game anyway, so this is uh, this is acceptable. So yeah, the ones that are in the Mighty Blow cluster are my armor uh, 10 plus. So they're, you know, doing their job. Mm. 
having him threaten the ball is definitely uh, the potential for shenanigans. Troll going down. But he's fine. And if I stun him up, then he has a friend. So that's good. Yeah, I like I like where this uh, this game is heading so far. Of course, this is huge. Just getting a black orc out turn one. Okay, Goblin assisting, knocking down my wrestle strip all. That's fine. That is sidestep, right? Yeah. Sadly, he does pick it up this time around. Okay. Dodging away from the Mino succeeds. And blitzing the elf, not getting a pow. Dodge doing a thing. Two, three, four, five. So, the only player who could make this. Yeah, the positioning is unfortunate. Because I would love to blitz in from this side. But that would mean getting the elf out of the way. And getting the elf out of the way is dangerous in its own right. Or rather, it's not dangerous, but it's uh, costly because the elf would be the best to retrieve with. So what I think I'll do... Aside from standing everyone up, of course. See if the Mino wants to move. He doesn't. Okay. If I do it with the Ogre, I'm limited to a two die. And if I'm going to be doing a two die, then I might as well do it with the Elf. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's lovely. Pickup's good. Now this guy... Actually, I have two rerolls. Making the loner need to GFI to mark might be nice. Yeah. Is it worth it, though? No, I don't think it is. Then again, that way they can't crowd me. And I made them. So now the loner would need to GFI to mark. This guy would need to GFI to mark. And it's harder for them to get around me. So pretty good. Pretty good. And these two KOs get a chance of coming back as well. If I score. Yeah, exactly. Blitz with the elf. I was I was angling for a three die with mighty blow, but against the ball carrier, the sidestepper can mark me. Yeah, but just getting marked is not that big a deal. It's the uh, if they if he can get two assists easily and then blitz with the third, the chance of me going down is higher. And if I'm further south than this, then the chance of me being swarmed and unable to dodge out is higher. Right now, as long as he doesn't roll pow, I have a really good chance of scoring. And there's a real chance that he loses 
Yeah, but I'm an elf with dodge. I just need to get out. And he can't get a good angle on me to prevent me from getting out now. That's the thing. That's what made the GFIs worth it. Sorry, the rushes. So chances are that we score and outnumber on his, after uh, his drive. Pretty cool, y'all. Is he... Is he going for a surf? Loner gets them both down. Manages the reroll. Gets the push, but who's gonna... Who would actually do the surf? There's no one left. Oh, it, it's a good way to make me not stall. Who's going to do the surf? The Mino is going to do the surf, actually. Can't get three dice here. Not without a go, which I'm not. No, 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 I can't make it. So I'll just score. That's fine. Not a problem. Okay, I failed both my KO rolls. So... I guess we're looking at that now. gonna grab a drink. I guess I'll put it here in case of a blitz. That's not a blitz. I have three rerolls and he has none. This actually has the potential to be uh, another steal if I'm really lucky. Okay, survive the first hit. Brawler lets him reroll that one. And Brawler actually makes the punch happen. Troll does not want to fight, so this wrestler lives for now. That's good. He doesn't have a lot left to blitz with. Yeah, that works. Well, it doesn't, but he gets the two die. That's what I meant. Yeah. 
Yeah, I should really get three guards ASAP. Troll goes in here. Yes, he does. Stand up. S stand up. He's already standing. Let's see if the Mino is willing to do something here. He's not. That's a pity. Two die there then. Just a push. Pity. Don't follow. Keep this one busy. I'm guessing he's going to want to go towards the center, but I'll keep this guy as... Maybe I should have swapped those around, really. Wrestle isn't that great against the goblin, and having my wrestle strip be uh, in the back would be nice. So, over to the baddies. No reroll. Four turns. Pity that the Mino didn't want to get stuck in there, because that would have had a lot of potential. Because then I would have had blitz this guy and had my ogre there. Or blitz this guy rather. Yeah, Brawler once again getting a knockdown. Against the uh, orc this time. But the orc has good armor, which holds. I really like the orc on this team, actually. As uh, as small buffs go, it's uh, quite significant. Brawler again. Brawler getting Brawler has been getting him a lot of pows. It's really worked for him. <sighs> it's fine, just a stun. Nothing to see here. Move along. But yeah, he's not going to be able to go forward much, which, given the turn count, is uh, significant. Oh. Okay. Well, apparently he disagrees. Elf takes merely a push. This has some potential, I guess. Yeah. Just out of reach for the strip bar. Um. So. You go. Back. Here. You go. Here. Troll just gets stuck in. You just stand up and keep soaking punches. Three die into a two die there. Three die is not good enough. Oh shit, that's a rush. Yeah, let's reroll that. And we failed the loner. Okay, yeah, that's that's shitty. That is unfortunate. Hmm. 
might just make the difference between a 1-0 defense and a 1-1 defense. I mean, this would have been a one die or the elf dodging out, but... Um, a minor setback. <laughs> Thank you, Diog. Yes. Just so. Yeah, now he can really get fairly safe. Because he still has two goblins to screen this off with. Oh, or not. Brawler fails him. Okay, 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 okay. That's... That has potential. I can free the ogre. Vessel strip ball in the right spot at the right time. Oh, that's a shitty place for it, though. Let's see if we manage to free the ogre. We do. Land the proper punch in the process. Let's see, this is a one die right now. Ogre moves. Does he also rush? He also rushes. Okay, that makes me feel a little more secure here. The one die is good. I don't care about him, really. Whew. Nice stun. Receiving human linemen. One might as well, right? Yeah, two tackle zones on the ball. Mino in place to act next turn as well. I still have two rerolls in two turns. He has none. So all it takes is one bad moment and he's quite fucked. This guy is surfable, but it's a half die. So... Uh, yeah, I'm quite okay with him standing there. And there's potential for the elf or the thrower to pick up. There's potential for me pushing his player onto the ball. He makes the half die and gets knocked down for it. That's good. That means I don't have the push onto the ball option right now, though. Um, that's actually an advantage for him, I suppose. He has two guys with tackle zones on the ball. He needs to choose to use dodge or not. Uh, 
okay it just goes into his seven and a half minutes Yeah, let's not roll up the skulls. Fuck! Yeah, my, my idea was move the ogre next to the... Hi, sweetie. Move the ogre up here, blitz the uh, sidestepper with six dice, and then pick up with the thrower. Things did not go according to plan. On the bright side, I got some star player points on the elf, since that was a casualty. He's got 11? That's a lot. I'm guessing two heads next will, uh, will be the thing. That's gotta be eight SPP, right? Pretty sure that's eight. Yeah. Oh, we suffered a badly hurt on someone on the wrestle. I accept that. Still have the potential of having a full squad second half. Two KO rolls to make. Acceptable. Oh, and oh no, he's got block on the troll. So that actually works out for him. Is he going to blitz the scoring threat? Nope, he's not. Blitzing the human off the ball, that, or the thrower off the ball, that makes sense. Still have the ogre on there, though. Okay, okay, so my touchdown threat remains a thing. Which do it? Were you trying to be sneaky by stomping around? Yes. Okay, I you're so cute. Sneaky stomp. <laughs> Weak file. Good. Good. I'd like to see that. So my thrower is here. Can't do much with that. But. I can get him off the ball. This is my turn eight. So I'd have to throw this turn. to move the over here. Then let's there. Yes. Good. Got a KO out of that. Five, six. It's a pity that they're both prone.
Long, the pass is accurate. Okay. That's good. This has real potential now. The catch is also accurate. Made it! Thank you to all of my patrons for helping make this channel possible. Would you like players named after you too? Then you can become a patron via the link below. 2-0. And now I get to be on offense. Uh, and I have 10 players and he has 8. Triple six play, yeah. Yeah, that was some serious die rolling there. Welcome, Sir Castiglione. Who <laughs> needs a thrower? Well, <laughs> when it comes to Chaos Renegades, not really. And thank you for the follow as well. You must ask show me a question? Yes. Um, how much chicken? Three. How much is that in kilo? One. One what type? What type of naan do you want? Nom, 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 nom. Can I just grab the top of the small one? Sure. Okay. Uh, right, so we're on offense. Mm, where's my health here? I should really get six SPP on my thrower for later, though. a blitz that's not great but it's not that bad he only has one strength four <laughs> who can move he's allowed to move six players but he only has five that can move and four of those are goblins doesn't get his pal, so that's good. Do you like the bag? That's fair. If you're wondering why Calf sounds like she's gagged. <laughs> you're cute. I haven't taken my ADHD meds today. I don't know if you can tell. Let's put this one. Yes. That sounds good. Yep. Yeah. Block actually doing a thing. Good, good. And then we go here. And then we go there. I feel safer already. 
Uh, yeah. And if you want to, do you want me to put the your, your watch on the actual charger or just the charger? We can also. Oh, well, 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 it, I had that. I don't want you to throw it on the ground, and it is charged. But thank you. So it doesn't need charging anymore. No, I think it's full. Uh. Sweetie, yes. could you ADHD somewhere else? Yes, I am gonna ADHD somewhere else in a minute, as soon as I got my shoes on. Thank you. Oh, smash! Very smash. Hey, Sensien. Sen Hello. Mino also smashes. Gets me a KO. He has two strong players left. I'll just wrestle him. The one I killed last half didn't get Apo Diog. The Apo turned it into a uh, Nigo or something, so he uh, he didn't come back. So yeah, <laughs> Black Orcs are uh, not really happy when all they have left is goblins. <laughs> This this feels like a goblin team after all the weapons have left the pitch. Sing. What do you mean I didn't break armor? That's not how this works. stuff here could be there or not you can be here you can be there and troll and troll action tot straks lievert success you too yes can i It's so nice to have Calf living here. She's been living here for two years now. Twitch is the best dating app there is. So yeah, I should probably push for a quick score to see if we can make it 4-0 with these numbers. Then again, these two have the potential of coming back, of course. Mino does not want to move. That is a little bit sad.
Yeah, I treated it. Uh, no bother. I guess I'm not scoring on the thrower. It was a bit of a. Uh, I, I don't want to risk. No, not risk. I'd rather score twice on the elf than once on the thrower. Just because he's shit doesn't mean I need to invest in him to make him less shit. I could just fire him and be done with it, really. That looked like he rolled three ones instead of two on the uh, armor. So we score on turn 13, and that gives us three turns for another steal. You go keep this guy company. You go here. You go here. Control's getting cuddled. In that case, I guess we just... Let's him with the Mino too. Oh, was that a dodge? No. Okay. Might as well stomp on the troll by now. Ah! Sneaky git worked, and bias referee did nothing. Here, let me half die you. That's okay. So at least I used up his uh, <coughs> blitz there. So now he can either blitz with the uh, orc or with the troll and not block with one and blitz with the other. He can still throw this goblin and do something crazy. Would be fun, right? Definitely my idea of fun. Ah, it's a sign of respect. Seriously hurt is just miss next, right? Yeah, I'm not that going that. We can blitz there. Oh yeah, I actually have Juggernaut on the troll. I almost forgot about that. Nice. Uh, that's uh, 
three dice here. None of them are any good. I am going to push for the four nil for sure. I don't think he realizes he has to sidestep here. Come on, do the thing. Can this really now just take seven minutes? That is also possible, Theo, yeah, that he's doing something else when it's not his turn. People do that. I, uh... I have wound up accidentally in two games at the same time on Fumble once. That was uh, stressful. That <laughs> was not fun at all. We have done it on tabletop where uh, we had an odd number of players and uh, people would play two, two opponents at the same time that uh, I never really enjoyed it much but I I, uh, I know that some people didn't mind uh, he gets both KOs back I'm still missing one how many strong players does he have? four I'm gonna front load now Let's see if we can have us a party and another steal go 4-0. I mean, the win is in the bag. That does not sound particularly impressive, yeah. Five three nil is starting to sound like a proper uh, win record, but then again, we're playing in gold division because I didn't play the season before. So, <coughs> absolutely, Dio. Absolutely, I agree. Um, so the side stepper is in the back. He's planning on going this way, so I'm kicking that way. I'll take the furthest one. Weather change. That was some serious weather change. I thought it would just scatter once. Did that change? Because this looks like a three scatter. Yeah. It scatters three times now. That's actually way more interesting. I approve. You should just scatter one extra square, I think. And that's a one dice skull. Oh, he loners it. At least we still get a punch here. That's nice. Goblin goes to get the ball. Fails. Doesn't reroll. Which means we have a clear path forward. Yeah. Yeah. 
Let's make a hole. In the goblin's head. Nearly got some of stun. Ogre doesn't want to move, that's okay. How am I on my strip ball? Is that that's the one that got knocked out there, okay. Punch works, that's good. Definitely following. Now I could make this two die, but I could also go here and keep the troll from blitzing the elf, which I think I like better. I'll just take this one die. Except that it's a push. Yeah, no need to give him that punch per se. I mean, it looks pretty promising for the uh, the three turn steel. Big hole in the center. Two players through. Uh, I'll probably have to roll a pow though. On two dice, so yeah. At least I still have two rerolls to do it with. Okay, I'm blitzing my lock lineman with the troll. I'm guessing he's gonna. Like, he can't foul with the goblin there. No, he can. He's this guy. Raglis the elusive. Because so far it's been. Mostly stomping on things, really. One die the Mino? No, you can two die the Mino even. Brawler. Oh, team reroll even. Okay. Ow. Just a stun. This is fine. And he can't foul that because he used all of his players. He picked up the ball, which is sad, but fair enough. I can reach everywhere he can reach, so that's good. And he's brought it to my wrestler. That's actually kind of nice. There is an issue if he sidesteps here and the ball bounces there. even three die now oh it is the uh, orc so he's slower and that cost me snake eyes. Okay, okay, okay. The orc speed actually wound up making difference. I counted the squares, but I didn't realize that he was the orc, so he was slower. I just saw the wrestle icon. Oh well. I am in range, so it's still possible. If he fails a dodge or messes up some other way. Not too bad, really.
He does not fail the dodge, which makes it unlikely that we get the steal. But, oh, he's handed it off. Can his troll reach that? One, two, three, four. Yeah, it can. He could, oh, he can just run. Yeah, you can just run. Okay. <laughs> I missed that it was uh, 15. I thought it was 16. Okay. Just out of range from the thrower. Control action again. Nearly a knockout, still nice. Um, the ogre's on four. The mino needs some loving. Should have taken them both down, maybe. I should definitely not have blitzed the sidestep because that takes forever. Yep, that's what I'm planning on, Diog. A uh, six plus three plus pickup with two GFIs, six plus pass, no intercept. Two plus catch, and then two uh, goes. Like that. Okay. Nope. <laughs> Those wildly inaccurate passes really are wildly inaccurate. That is actually a kind of a good change in the rules. I like that. I didn't quite realize how it worked. So the last time when I had threw a pass from here and aimed it there and it went this way, I thought it was some kind of bug. But um, now I realize that that's actually how they changed passing, which is for the better. The fact that, you know, passing is really, really shit unless you're a thrower is still kind of sad. But uh, the, the the fact that it can go completely the wrong way if you try, I think that's interesting. Oh, they're doing the thing again where the camera angle doesn't change for the cheering. Is this a crossplay thing, maybe? Okay, well, let's see what the uh, MVPs did. So yeah, the elf has 15. Random strength skill for the over. Oh! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Guard stand firm over. That is... That's really lovely. Um... Orc's gonna save up for guard. Is this stat worth it? I don't think so. No, I think I'm just going to go... Uh... Hey there, read small books. Um... 
I figured if I'm gonna be blitzing, then setting up for three die into three die is easier with the Mino. Um, yeah, two heads is what I was gonna pick. You're right. I got distracted by the question. And I like the, the theme of having uh, both rats be absent from the team um, with the fluff behind it that the uh, the rat ogre uh, with the little rat on his shoulder from Bubble 2 is the, uh, the mascot and the head coach, where the little rat is, of course, the head coach. Okay, so we're missing our wrestle strip ball. Which means I could consider hiring a player. Yeah, that's true. I didn't think about the fact that Rat Ogre... Uh, in my head, the Rat Ogre and the Mino both have um, Wild Animal. Because I haven't really thoroughly studied the, the, the rule set. 270k, yeah. I'm going to hire a player. Just a... Line human. Yeah, no, the rat ogre might actually be a better pick. Um, maybe next time. And what what else did I want? I wanted. I think I'm gonna get a third reroll because I have excess money, and I think it's uh, useful. They're expensive, but in this rule set, I think three is good to have. That leaves me with 80k, so I don't have to roll for spir for um, uh, expensive mistakes anymore. Um, <laughs> flavor wins. I like that. Yeah. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, remember to hit the thumbs up button. If you want to see more of my content, then do press the subscribe button and the little bell, and I'll see you around.